Hi there, and welcome to the Wavelink AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi range extender. Now I'm gonna show you how to install, set up, and run this extender. But first off, inside the box, you have the extender itself and a ethernet cable. Now keep in mind the WPS settings requires a place where Wi-Fi signal interference is small. Now there are two ways to set this up, either with a cell phone or the router. Now to set up using the router, it's very simple. You just plug in the extender to an outlet and then wait about 45 seconds for it to start up. Once the LED indicator is flashing red on the extender, hit the WPS button on your home router for about five seconds. Now the time may differ how long you have to hold it depending on the router that you have. Now after about five seconds on this router, I released it and I saw the Wi-Fi signal change colors and start to flash, indicating that it's in a joinable state. Then press the WPS button on the extender for about six seconds until you see a blinking blue light. Now before it turns blue, it may be blinking red. That's indicating that it's communicating with the router. Now the connection process usually takes about 60 seconds. You'll know it's connected once the blinking red light turns to a solid blue. Now here's how you connect it using your cell phone. Now as before, plug the extender into an outlet and wait about 45 seconds for the LED light to be blinking red. On your cell phone, underneath the Wi-Fi settings, search and find Wavelink-N or Wavelink-AC. And then open a web browser on your phone and type in 192.168.10.1 into the address bar. Next, enter the default password admin. You can then select your region, add a time zone, and a new password. Now you'll need to use this new password next time you log into the system, so make sure that you write that down. And then if you do forget the password, you can hit the reset button on the bottom of the extender to start this whole process over. Next, you wanna select repeater mode, find your host Wi-Fi signal, and then add the password for that router. Click connect and then wait for the progress bar to show 100%. Now once the connection finished, wait about 30 to 60 seconds. The LED light will then transfer back to a solid blue, indicating that you have a clean and clear Wi-Fi signal. Now that you're connected, you can take the extender and plug it into a room where you want to increase the Wi-Fi signal. Once you plug it in, just wait about one to two minutes for it to connect. You'll know it's connected once the light again turns to a solid blue. Now the color of the LED will tell you how strong of a signal you have. A solid blue means you have the best connection. Yellow means you have a good connection. Red means that you're too far away and you'll need to move the extender closer to your home router. Now after following the two processes to connect to Wavelink, if you're still having problems connecting, please don't hesitate to contact the customer service for additional assistance. Thank you for watching and have a great day.